take a look at a way to generate stripes. Let's start by creating a new draft. I'll go into the project settings and I'll set my shafts and treadles. I'll go into the planning tab and set my ends per inch and fix per inch to 20. Now let's go in and put a little tie up. I'll draw something in on treadle 1. I'll click design, click diagonal. Now I have a tie up. So with the straight draw tool, I'm going to just, uh, just do a very simple draft for showing the stripes. Put straight draw in the work in the rough. Now let's repeat this a bit so we've got enough uh, threads to work on. So one fast way is to do the repeat warp and weft. And as I put more repeats in here, like 20 times, it's about 8 inches. So if I do it about 40 times here, I'll have 16. And this is about 16 and a half. And I'll apply. And now I'll close that. So now I've got, I've got a draft. So let's look at this tab called Color Repeats. This panel has a few options at the top and an area at the bottom where I can put colors. So I can put like a red color. Let's just look at a red and an orange. We can type some in here. So let's take a look at what these do. Put another one in here. So the, it's defaults to starting at thread 1 with warp which would be right here, this color right, right here. Of course, if I click in that, the color bar, it colors it the current color. But if I use this apply button right now with repeats, one repeat of this, that simply does the four colors one time. If I click three repeats and apply, you can see that a sequence of four colors goes three times. I can also change these numbers to be four of this and three of this. Apply. And now you can see how I can change these to any width. And this is scrollable too. I can put quite a few colors. I can, and I don't have to use colors once. I can go to with the red again. I can even mirror it. And it'll go. I mirrored after the red, so then it goes back and gets the, the blue, the green, the orange, and another red there. And if I apply that, it applies just what I, I told it to. So that's simple repeats. The other option you have is ending. Now if I start with one and ending, and it defaults to the last thread that it sees, I could change this. I could do any range of threads I wanted to color. I'm going to, going to hit clear. So right now if I selected the gold color and said re repeat gold one time but apply to the end, it colors every one of the warp threads gold. If I wanted to do an alternating with gold and red and apply, that's what it would do. Of course if I wanted to do two Goal, 12, well, it's doing 12. Two goals for every red and apply. That's what I get. So it's, as you can see, you can do different numbers of repeats by specifying the number of repeats or a starting and ending thread by clicking ending. And uh, the other thing that's very powerful is the ratio button. Now with the ratio, the most common use is to put in stripes that follow the Fibonacci uh, proportions. So it doesn't matter how many work ends you've got. In this case, we had the 328. We can put any series of colors here with Fibonacci numbers, and it should be something that's fairly attractive to the human eye. So let's go ahead and put in some, um, some colors. And if I hover, if you don't know your Fibonacci numbers by heart, you can hover over the repeat. And of course, it starts 1 and 2, and then you add 1 and 2, and it makes 3. So 1, 2, and 3 are Fibonacci numbers. If you add the 2 and 3, you get 5. Well, 5 is added to the list of Fibonacci numbers. 
you do 3 and 5, you get 8. 8 is another. So notice here that you're, if you just keep adding two numbers, you get 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, and of course it goes on and on. So we can put any of these in here. Um, I can put a 2 here. Maybe I want to put a, a 8. Maybe I want a third. Maybe want a 13 here, maybe I want a 1 there, and uh, on that blue, and then maybe I... And if you're going to reuse a color, come up top, it's a little easier to find one. Maybe I want 13 on each side of that little stripe of blue. And then maybe I want... This is probably going to look totally crazy, but it doesn't matter, as long as it gets the point across. Now, if I hit apply right here, what it's going to do is it's going to basically take the total of each number in here, 2 plus 8, 13, 1, 13, 5, divide it into 328 threads and proportion it out. So one unit would have that number of threads, these number of total repeats. You don't really have to worry about that. Just let the computer do the work for you. So when I hit apply, Notice that the yellow says repeat two. This is how wide that is for it to get proportionately two units. As you can see, the blue's a little more narrow. And the 13s are noticeably wide here. These dark greens on each side of that blue. We have fit checked. And what fit does is it forces it to fit in that if the numbers don't work out so that each, each stripe gets exactly the number of threads it use, needs to be mathematically fitting the proportions that you specified here, it'll add a few threads in just to make it work so you cover it all. If I take fit off now and I do apply, probably should have, uh, it may not color them all. It'll change it a little bit. I'm zooming down. And in fact, you can notice that. Let's go to the view. Maybe we can see it better. There was a thread on the end there that didn't get colored. But I usually leave fit on. Um, if you take it off, you can see how it is to make it exact, and then you may want to adjust your draft so that it fits exactly. Now, notice this ends with the purple here. That's the last one. If I hit mirror, it adds, goes backwards from the purple, which was the last one. So it adds another green 13, it adds another one, then it adds the light green 8 um, right there, followed by the 2 at the end. So now when I hit apply, it recalculates my stripes. I'm going to hit a V for view. Now I have a symmetrical uh, draft, symmetrical stripes in my draft. If I want to do the same striping sequence in width, all I have to do is click weft and hit apply. Now when we look at it, that's what we see. If I didn't want to do the same thing in width, let's just clear this out and maybe put, um, let me put maybe this slight blue here. I can just apply it. Or I could do more stripes too, which is fine. I can do anything, anything I want to here. In fact, if I wanted the middle stripe, twice the, the size of the two bordering blues, and I hit apply. Let's see if that's what we get. When we do get that, if it were. Remember too that you can zoom in on, on this. You can also, for a little better resolution, it runs a little uh, slower, you can hit the render thickness button, and it will look a little better. And if you had thick and thin threads, you would see the difference in render thickness. So that's um, that's what the this quick color repeat is all about. It's on the design menu. Color repeats is right after design repeat. In the future, we will have some other patterns down here that are kind of preloaded uh, strike sequences that you can try out with the repeat numbers and you may want to change your colors. Also remember that you can always go to the tools, the yarn catalog, and you can take a different yard line, select it, 
add that selection to the palette and it'll add that yarn line to the palette and you can use those colors as well. We were just, earlier we were just using the default palettes that were loaded and once you do that of course you just close that and they're, they're available in your palette. And as always when you add a yarn line to your palette any colors you've used it doesn't, um, it doesn't remove them, it leaves them there. And remember another good color uh, tool is for example if I wanted to change this gold to uh, let's say the straw color that I just added I can go down here and select straw and then notice uh, I can select it in warp or weft or all the default is all so if I select straw and do apply now in my draft I have straw changing to gold so just that's just another handy thing you can do right I can right click on the line and let's just put wasabi on that and now we've got wasabi there so just another one of those color tools they, they sort of all are good options depending on what you're trying to do so that's it thanks for watching this video bye